as, as far as cricket and climate change is concerned, I think the biggest problem in every country is the short-term focus of the cricket authorities, of cricketers themselves. Every country looks to maximise its short-term income from cricket and just kind of hope for the best. I had some personal experience of climate and cricket uh, on the Indian subcontinent. About five years ago, I played a cricket match, uh, or a bit of one, in Lahore, uh, in a temperature of 48 degrees. That is, to an old person like me, that's 118 in real temperature. And it just brought home to me personally that um, something very odd is happening to climate, some freak events happening to climate, and, and it's going to have an impact on cricket. If the world were the batting side, um, we're at about you know, 10 runs for four wickets. We've, we've, made a, we've got a lot of work to do you know, to retrieve this innings. One of the great mistakes if you go to Pakistan and play cricket is um, to say yes when a, a small child says, can I bowl at you, sir? If you say yes, the little boy, or increasingly now the, the little girl, will be the next Wazim Akram or the next Abdul Qadir, and you're going to look an idiot uh, facing them. But they get such joy out of dismissing the English visitor that it's always a treat. The world is waking up to what it's losing. Um, and it's not just a matter for old fossils like me. Um, it's engaging all the generations. And I just have a sense that people are willing uh, to sacrifice something for the world in a way which perhaps they weren't in the 1950s and 1960s when I grew up, which is an era of absolutely non-stop rampant growth. But cricket is a great solace for anything um, troubling people, in my view, because cricket, however bad you are, there are moments in cricket where you do something absolutely perfect. Great cricketers do have these sort of moments all the time. That's why they're great cricketers. But every, all of us have it at some point or other. And it keeps you going for a whole season, possibly even a whole year. Uh, makes you believe you can, life is worth living again. But I'd give a young, any young cricketer a message I had um, as a, um, from a very, very early coach. He said, um, do you realise that you are the best cricketer of your type in the world? And it's really a way of saying, be the best player that you can be. I've taught a lot of children to straight drive, and I had the great joy of giving this experience to my nine-year-old grandson. I taught his father and two of his uncles to do the same thing in the same way, and now it's passed on to the third generation. And that applies actually in... In other things, that applies to much more important things than cricket. If you've, there are moments in one's life when one feels one's passed a torch to the next generation, and it's it's very satisfying to see it being carried and taken forward.